Hey guys, uh, so recently Laura and I decided that we wanted to go camping more and one of the first things you need when camping is either a tent or if you want to go really expensive, a camper or an RV. Um, we wanted to go the simple route and get a tent so we found ourselves online uh, looking at a lot of reviews and a lot of videos of all the different tents the world has to offer. Um, we wanted a tent that has a lot of space, uh, more than enough space for both of us and the dogs. Um, also a tent that most notably would be weatherproof, so if we got caught in the rain, we wouldn't have to worry about getting wet and getting our stuff wet. Um, we ended up finding the T4 Plus by Gazelle, and I've been very happy with all the, the different benefits it has to offer. Um, I couldn't find a lot of reviews on the T4 Plus itself. Uh, I found a lot of reviews on the T4, um, but wanted to see more about the T4 Plus and what it has to offer compared to just the T4. So I decided to make a video about that and kind of showing you all the different things that Gazelle has to offer. So right away you can tell just from the bag that they've kind of thought of everything, uh, designed it very well. The bag is slightly oversized, um, so it's not too hard to get the tent back in after unfolding it for the first time. Um, each side's got uh, pretty durable handles if needed. Um, these in the front end are a little different from the, from the other side, but handles on both sides. You have a, a pretty big strap that goes across the whole thing. You can pretty much use that to, to hold by your shoulder. Shoulder. Um, this un, un velcros, so you could uh, separate them so you could undo the, the zipper down the middle. And each side of the bag has um, these velcro, velcro straps. You can kind of keep everything cinched together. Um, but other than that, the uh, the quality is um, pretty good. Seems like it's going to hold up for many, many years. To get a feel for the space, you can see the whole T4 Plus can fit in the back of my 60-inch Toyota Tacoma bed. I did have to make it slightly crooked in order to properly close the tailgate, though. Here, I'm going to show you the assembly and timing of setting up the T4 Plus so you can get a feel for how long it actually takes. It is worth noting that this is only my second time setting up the tent, and it was still fairly easy to get it down. So the T4 Plus uh, comes of course with the T4 on the back end and then on the front end obviously is the Plus feature uh, which can act as your foyer for those who like the luxurious camping style um, but also acts as a separate room if you want more space um, for a larger family. Just going over the back real quick for the T4, you've got your windows on the side that can open up from the inside. You've got a rear facing door which opens up to the inside. Which allows you some uh, access from the rear. You also have a rear facing window which can be opened up and then two facing windows on the other side. So moving on to the plus, uh, this whole area comes off or up. The sides zip up, the bottom velcro is off. And then you can remove this off of the tab and roll this up and basically makes the whole wall like a screen, almost like a front screen and porch, so I'm going to let it fall for now. If you go to the other side, you can essentially 
do the exact same thing, exact same thing, so you can make both sides screened in. And then if you wanted to do more, you can do the same for the front panels. So I can roll these up and basically make the whole plus area like a screened in porch for your foyer. So this is how the uh, T4 plus front end looks like with the windows rolled up. Um, you can see my semi okay wrap job on the windows but they essentially roll up and then tie in with a little uh you can just cinch it right here with a loop and the uh, piece of fabric they have um the sides have three so it opens up nicely and then the front door panels each have two separate pieces that come up and you can wrap them as well and the left side looks just like the opposite side going into the actual tent itself uh, here is the open foyer area as we're calling it. Um, we kind of use this to um, store our clothes and such and also a spot for the dogs to sleep. Um, move their bed outside. That's kind of half a bed for them. The panels on the wall are essentially the same um, gazelle design as the back T4. Um, you have two of those on either side with also the roof panel. Um, this one does have the little latch assembly with a little catch for you to, to store something up top. Um, we put a little night lantern up there, perfect for night when you're trying to get in and have some light. Um, the front area also has pockets on the sides here. There's three on each side, which is plenty enough storage space. Um, you have a door that actually can zip up and separate this whole room from the back. That door can unzip. And you can essentially roll this whole door up if you want to make it one big tent. Now in here we have uh, the main T4 area, which is essentially um, the same T4 as, uh, as everything else. The side has two windows that both unzip for a nice mesh screen. Um, each side also has a pretty spacious uh, storage pouch. We've got Harry Potter kind of chilling in there right now. Um, one on the other side as well. Also with two windows. And a nice mesh open roof with also a little storage cache as well. Um, we have an additional lantern for this room as well. On the back end you have one window and then a door that we saw from the outside. And then the back end you also have another storage cache, um, which is plenty big. One of the things I like to note, and just, just kind of standard on the gazelles, one of the things I like, um, the zippers are all high quality. Uh, you can tell just by using them, uh, they don't catch very easily when they do. They stay on their track very well. Pretty much every zipper uh, in the tent is the same good, durable quality. Um, so that's a pretty good feature by the gazelle here. Um, another feature of the gazelle tents, which um, we like a lot, is that the bottom floor is essentially a liner that is velcroed to the sidewalk. You can see the ground there, but it almost acts as a tub so that it comes up, you know, about three inches or so, so that if any rainwater that comes in is not going to be able to get through this velcro seam. The T4 Plus has its own tub separate from the back area so this whole piece can essentially be removed for easy cleaning and then going to the t4 side you've got its own separate tub liner which also velcros away from the wall and you can see the ground there so while velcro might seem uh you know leak proof at first glance it's actually a very great feature it's high enough that it keeps anything out but also detachable so that when i get home i can clean it out pull it away vacuum it sweep it all away whatever i want however i want to get the dirt out and it features a uh, good use for that a couple of things i guess to knock against the t4 plus uh, one of the few are the stakes that come with it are kind of cheap aluminum we left them at home um, we replace them with a better quality steel uh, with a plastic head. It essentially does the same thing, but uh, is also a lot more lot more durable and can last longer. Another thing that we weren't crazy about 
uh, with the T4 Plus is that it did not come with a bottom tent footprint. So as you can see here, we've put our own tarp down, um, which is, you know, pretty cheap to get at your local hardware store. So that wasn't a big, huge buy. I know that Gazelle has uh, provided a, uh, a premium addition to some of their T4s that give you basically the better stake and also a footprint for your tent. But the T4 Plus does not come with those. So you, if you want those kind of extra perks, you gotta buy them yourself. You're probably thinking, now I've seen the T4 Plus uncovered, but what does it look like with the rain fly on? Well, never fear my friends, I've got you covered. Here's the T4 Plus open. And here it is with a rain fly and a dog. No rain fly? Rainfly. No rainfly. Rainfly. Well, you get the picture. Well, guys, uh, that's going to be it for the review video today. I hope I was able to answer all your questions. Uh, I hope I was able to give you a good quality review of the T4 Plus and kind of show you all the features it has. Um, I know it's going to be a great tent for me in the future, and I'm looking forward to using it more. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment box below. If you like this video, well, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, well, I guess you can give me a thumbs down, but it's up to you. If you're looking forward to more content from me, well, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to get more followers and love to see you guys more in the future. Peace out.